Hi, I'm Eric, and I lead our solutions engineering team here at Coda. Today, I'm going to walk you through our Team OS or Teams operating system. Prior to coming to Coda, I spent four and a half years at Slack. And what I loved about Slack is that it centralized all of our communication and conversation and truly became our digital headquarters. And what I love even more about Coda is Coda is an all-in-one document that brings all of the tools that you need together in one place. So those times when you are getting outside of your digital headquarters and you're doing your deeper work, whether you're in documents and spreadsheets and slides, which a lot of people spend time in, or you're in different project management tools, you're in Salesforce or CRM or your system of records, all of that can funnel directly into Coda, keeping everyone focused on what needs to happen. So in our team OS here, we are able to create a single source of truth. We eliminate tool overload from the team so they can just focus on what are our goals, how are we tracking towards achieving those goals, and making sure that we're all on the same page and aligned, which ultimately helps us unlock more value for our customers. So I'm gonna walk you through this document, which is where our team really congregates and make sure that we're fully aligned. So you can see here, we're looking at our Coda doc. And if I jump into this main page, this is our main home page or our home landing page. You can see on the left side navigation, there's a number of different pages and sub pages that we've created for people to easily jump into the information that they need. This is somewhere that our entire team comes quite often, but also our cross-functional partners will jump in here when they need to engage with the SE team or when they need to get one of the artifacts that we created. So I could see here on my homepage, I have our team's mission and vision, making sure that we're all rowing the boat in the same direction. I also have our OKRs so that you can see exactly how we're tracking towards achieving different goals that we've set for ourselves. You can meet the team, learn a little bit about them. And we have our SE playbook, which we created to really help our team internally, both on the SE team and our cross-functional partners align on how we engage with our customers. So I'll pop open our mission and vision. Here is something that this is our North Star. This is where we come back to every time we need the team to align, um, but also great for any new hires that we have. So when they jump in, they fully understand what we are as a team. So again, this is all fully customizable. So if you wanted to create something like this for your team, you could use this as a starting point. You can copy it and then modify it as needed. Next, you can see we can jump over, we can take a look at the team. So we have a bit of a team directory so that everyone can get acquainted with each other. And then we go a level deeper. So here we can see our OKRs and understand what is important for us this particular quarter. We also are tracking these directly in here as well. And we can also add in a number of notes or connect this to different data sources that are used for tracking this. So if you want to connect to, let's say, Salesforce or your Snowflake database so that you can pull in your, um, your revenue and see how you're tracking towards your quota, you can do that directly in here. We can open this up and we can pull different reports in here. This one happens to be coming directly from Salesforce. Next up, we have our SE playbook. So you can see here that this is really aligning our team to all of our different sales stages so that our cross-functional counterparts like our account executives and our customer success managers understand where we all fit in so that we have clear roles and responsibilities and we can give our customers the best buying journey possible. So if they want to understand what you know, our demos or POCs or closed plans look like, they can jump into any of these sub pages and get a quick brief readout of what these activities are while also seeing some gold standard examples of how we've actually run these plays in the field. Next up, we have our operations center. This is great for leadership to give the team a bird's eye view in what everyone on the team is working on. So here we can see our big customer projects. We can see how we're tracking towards them. If we have any proof of values or proof of concepts in flight, we can easily come in here. And if I want to jump in and see how we're doing with the Big Bank USA security review, again, I can open up this detail tracker. And here, this will connect to the tracker that the team has deployed in the field so that I'm getting an update on where we are and if we're running into any blockers here. So really nice bird's eye view. And again, if you want to integrate directly with Salesforce, we do have a Salesforce integration so that you can pull in different reports and analytics that you have already built into Salesforce, but bring it all into here so people don't have to go search through all the Salesforce folders and, and so on. 
Next up, we have our SE templates. So we've created a couple templates that just help make sure that we're aligned with our team. So if we are going to do a proof of value, you can see that we've created this proof of value template that anyone on our team can leverage in their account plans. So if we were in a separate document and let's say it was more of an account plan and the account executive and the SE wanted to fill out that proof of value template, they could just create a new page here, come over to insert, and then under templates, they'll see some of the templates that we've created. They could take a quick peek at this to make sure that it is in fact the template they're looking for. This would be owned by an individual or a small team to make sure that it's always up to date. And then they can simply just drag that into any document that they're working in. And now they have access to the latest and greatest proof of value template that we are going to leverage. Um, so really handy just to make sure that the team is all on the same page and really working from the same um, set of criteria. Next, we've created a number of scaled video assets that people can access here. Um, so again, no need to have everyone launch into a you know, sales enablement tool or some other third party. They can come directly here, they can get the link, um, and then any additional context that you wanted to add in here, you can add that in this column. Um, so if you open this up, you could have video walkthroughs or tutorials or any type of guidance that you think would be helpful for the team. Next up, we have our project tracker. Um, we're constantly working on projects and internal projects as a SE organization. So I can come in, I can get a quick summary view of all of the projects that we have in flight, but I can also go down to our master launcher. So here's where I could get a really detailed view of all the projects that we have in flight, the status of each of them. If at any time I wanna get an update or check in on one of these, I can easily just click this button, that'll ping the owner of this in Slack, and it'll ask for an update. Um, it'll also link them directly to this document so that they can just jump in and provide the latest update to the rest of the team. Um, but really nice place to just get a very high level view, go a level deeper, but make sure that we are aligned on all of our projects and initiatives that we're running internally. And then lastly, we have our meeting notes. So anytime we meet as a team, um, we typically don't present slides. So we will present this document, which may seem a little strange at first, but it's a really good way just to make sure that we are focused on you know, aligning to our agenda. We'll keep notes as we're going through. Um, you can embed slides or PowerPoints directly in here if you wanna run it. Any action items, we're capturing those live on the call, we're assigning owners, we're making sure that we're staying on top of those. And one thing that I really love is just an internal ritual that we call our Dory. But essentially what that is, is that's a table where during our team calls, people can add their questions or topics that they want to dig into here, and the rest of the team can upvote those. And so what this does is it gives everyone on the team an equal voice to make sure that we are tackling all of the topics that the entire team is focused on and cares about, and not really just worrying about whoever has the loudest voice in the room. So a really nice way to run meetings and make sure that you're being efficient with the time that you have. So that was a quick walkthrough of our SE Team OS. Um, this will be published as a template, so you could copy this, use it as a starting point, and everything that you've seen here is 100% customizable. And if you ever need any help, you want to talk about anything solutions engineering, definitely feel free to reach out to me and I'd love to chat. So appreciate your time and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.